Due to the unpopularity of Justin Trudeau and his liberal party, I kind of expected that, I, and I still expect, to be honest with you, that the Conservative Party or the, or the People's Party of Canada would use, their own, um, pop, use that unpopularity against the Liberals and kick them out of office on October 16th. But we have just seen some new developments lately about, uh, about a certain, per, certain prime minister actually doing something that many people would consider racist. And that would be donning blackface. Now, let's get into this entire situation um, before, I, before we can explain how uh, badly this is going to hurt Justin Trudeau and his liberal party. According to the New York Post, Canada's ultra-progressive prime minister stands exposed as having dawn black or brown face at least three times in his younger years. The most recent occasion apparently being in 2001 at age 29. His, the first image to service came from a private school's Arabian Nights gala where Trudeau ha was also knitted out in turban and, and robe. <laughs> the fact that he actually wore blackface even during this... Uh, um, Arabian Nights thing is just completely hilarious because he is 29 years old. He's a teacher in a high school, a drama teacher. Still can't believe how a lot of Canadians decided to vote him into office, but still. <laughs> the fact that he actually went this far is... It's... I don't, I, it's kind of shocking and funny to me at the same time. And I, I will get into a little bit of the situation because it's definitely coming back to buy him in the ass. Keep in note that this 2001, um, that this 2001 event with the Arabian Nights Gala is just one of at least three. There was, according to uh, the, the New York Post, New York Post, Thursday, up popped an early 90s video of Trudeau in blackface and an afro wig. And this, there was actually two other pictures that show Justin Trudeau also wearing blackface. Again, it's, it's kind of shocking and funny at the same time. But what's even worse for Justin Trudeau is how he decided to ap apologize. Because when, uh, um, back on Wednesday, he he had uh, decided he decided to go to the press and he formally apologized. He said that uh, uh, that uh, darkening his that darkening his face was wrong. He is pissed at himself and that he shouldn't have done that. That and of course that uh, um, he should have known about it then and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just it's just completely funny. And it's not, it's not doing good for him as well, especially considering that at that time, at the first photo was actually him at 29 years old. He should have known about this whole, um, whole problem with uh, a blackface that has been basically racist for such a long time. Even, uh, I cannot believe how badly he's screwing this up. It's, I don't know whether I should laugh or cry at this point. But here's another, another, another time which uh, he also went out to apologize. When he was at a campaign appearance in Win Winnipeg on Thursday, he apologized. According to the US USA Today, his second apology in as many ways and added that darkening your face is always unacceptable because of the racist history of blackface. I should have understood that then and I never should have done it. Trudeau said he acknowledges that he came from a place of privilege, but I now need to acknowledge that comes with a massive blind spot. You made... <sighs> this is not an apology, people. This is him trying to put a blame on something else. In this case, it's the whole stupid notion of white privilege. And everybody's been so disgusted... With identity politics at this point. They hate, people hate identity politics. The Canadians hate identity politics. Why do you think that Justin Trudeau and the Liberals have such a bad popularity rating? <sighs> and they are going so far as to go place it on the idea of white privilege. It's not going to give you votes, man. 
all it all this is showing is that you're trying to shift the blame onto some onto someone or something else. Again, it's why privilege. You're not being a man and man and manning and actually saying that uh, that yeah, you fucked up. And it's, <laughs> this is just coming back to bite Trudeau in the ass. Like I said before, three photos, one of one even happened to be a video of Justin Trudeau in afro and blackface. Just trying to be funny and trying to make... Trying to act like a, a Jamaican and seeing... Um, I, I don't know what song he was seeing, but he... But apparently it was a... It's a famous Jamaican song. I can't I can't remember. Please someone post that down in the comments right now. I'm having a mind fart at that point. At this point. <laughs> so yeah, it's just... It's not looking good for Justin Trudeau. I'm... Pr it's definitely going to. It's definitely been hitting Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party very hard, because the conservatives and many of their many other parties across the entire Canadian political spectrum have been using this and attacking Justin Trudeau, calling him racist, calling this, calling this just an undignified event for someone who happens to be prime minister. Which I would, well, I would have have to agree, considering that. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has actually called a section of the of uh, members of parliament, which happen to be conservative, as racist. Kind of funny how when you try to apply your own standards of political correctness and identity politics on these guys, it it'll go back to bite you in the ass if you do something similar or or may have done something similar in the past. It's just. And it's just, it's not really looking good for the liberals right now. A lot of of uh, leftist progressives in Canada have actually ditched the Liberal Party at this point. It's so going so far as to go to either the Green Party or the New Democratic Party. Again, of all these, all of these uh, different political parties are definitely gain trying to use this event to further attack Justin Trudeau. The conser the conservatives and the People's Party are. Are not the only ones doing this. Although I'm pretty sure that they will definitely get some votes as a result. Because a lot of, again, a lot of people do not like Justin Trudeau. And liberals are just seeing the message on the wall. They are bailing out. Because they don't want to be associated with this guy anymore. Because he, of course, is the is the very face of the Liberal Party of Canada. Now there now a lot of voters are just going to dis to probably vote for the Green Party or the New Democratic Party, and that's just going to split up the liberal votes. There's no way Justin Trudeau at this point is going to win the election. I do not believe so. In fact, I honestly would believe that not only would the Conservatives and the People's Party gain, I think maybe the NDP, NDP and the Green Party will also gain a few seats as well as a result of these liberal defections. I would not be surprised. The Liberal Party itself would still be a major force to within the Canadian Parliament. I'm pretty sure that will still be the case in 2019. But with the backlash coming coming against Justin Trudeau and how he went all blackface back in back in his 20s and late 20s, it's not it's not going to have a good image for the Liberal Party at this point. And I think it's going to make Force the Liberal Party to do something similar to how the Dem how the Democrats are trying to do in the United States, but are cu currently failing, and that is trying to find find a new new face for the party, as well as some soul searching, because it, it's apparent that uh, that the policies and the f figurehead of said policies are not are just not working out well for the Canadians. They're, they're absolutely hating it at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, a a after this, if somehow the Liberal Party does manage to gain a foothold um, in in either this election or in the next election, Justin Trudeau will not be a part of the government. Justin Trudeau would have so much baggage on him that the Liberals will not want to have him anymore as as a member of Parliament. Or, or in any sort of uh, um, government post for that matter. At this point, I believe that he is finished. 
He is finished. His political correctness revolution is finished. His pandering is finished. And it, and it will just show on October 16th when the polls will finally come in and show how much people, how much Canadians despise Justin Trudeau. All this black, all this um, shows with him being um, wearing blackface during the 90s and even back in 2001. All it shows is that more people are just resenting him at this point. And nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, not even his direct link, linkage to, the, to uh, another prime minister, his own father, will help him at this point. Not or even I don't even believe his own good looks are going to help him at this point. In my personal opinion, this is definitely a nut of probably the final nail in the coffin for Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party of Canada. My name is Tony and I am Truth. Please post your comments down below, like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also, if you have any criticism about my video, please be sure to either post them. In the comments down below or directly message me. I don't mind either, either way. Anything is fine. Thank you. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain.